Venezuela, República Dominicana, Casco México, Panamá, El Salvador, Cuba, Honduras, México, Puerto Rico. So what they did was they um, did their own research and we used Google Slide Deck to, for them to make this presentation. Hispanic Heritage Month, designed and written by fifth grade. What is Hispanic Heritage Month? Hispanic Heritage Month is a time when Hispanics celebrate their fourth grade achievements in the city. During Hispanic Heritage Month, people of this do fun celebrations like dancing and singing to celebrate People eat cultural foods like tacos and like health. Help like health. Health is true. Heaven was born on July 7, 1929, and died on December 27, 2001. Heaven Rodriguez Trias was a permanent health expert. Women's activities. She served as the first Latina director of the American Health Association. Starting like Isabel. Isabel Evers. Isabel is an activist singer. She's sworn as Lord in the movie, Lord in the Lost City of War. She won the Imagine Award for Best Young Actress. Stand out like Sonia. Sonia Sotomayor. She was the first Hispanic and third woman to to serve on the Supreme Court. She published two children's book, books based on her 2013 model biography. She helped, she helped to end the Major League Baseball show. Don't position like Gary. Gary is going to be a woman for the Columbus American Academy of Dance and Memorial. Gary is the first collection of poems from the United States of America to the American community. Achieved by Ava. Ava Longoria. She a movie star. She was recognized for her role as Isabella Brenner on the Young and the Restless. She, stay, she started the Ava Longoria Foundation, which supports programs that help Latinas excel in school and attend college. Lin Manuel Miranda, he was the creator of the Broadway musicals Hamilton and In Park. Hamilton won a Pulitzer Prize. Bruce like Susan. Cesar Chavez, he was an American labor leader and civil rights activist. He co-founded the National Farm Workers Association, NFWA. Catch you like a little Roberto Clemente was a Hall of Fame outfielder for the Pittsburgh Pirates. He was, he was a beloved humanitarian. He denounced segregation and discrimination against people.
We have a very special guest. I know Ms. Tere uh, Quinones, since she was about your age, actually. Uh, we went to the same church, and when I met uh, Ms. Quinones, she was in the church's choir. She was uh, acting. She was one of the main actors at our church, and she was doing great, um, as you guys are. So I want you to look at Ms. Quinones and say, that can be me one day. We're going to talk a little bit more about Ms. Quinones after the first song, and you're going to get to know her a little bit more as well. All right? She's not just a singer. All right? We'll keep that. Voy a hablar de mis quiñones después de la primera canción. Le vamos a hablar un poquito, vamos a hacer una entrevista y vamos a hablar un poquito más de quién es mis quiñones. La conozco desde la edad más o menos de escuela elemental y ha sido una, una, una muchacha ilustre en las áreas del de, arte, eh, cantando y también vamos a hablar de, de, de otras cositas ahorita. ¿Ok? Gracias. Mis quiñones. Hi everyone, I'm so excited to be with you guys today. Um, I'm going to be singing Campanita de Cristal uh, by Rafael Hernández. It's a classic from Rico, uh, from where I'm from. And actually, this is one of the first songs and classicals that I learned in elementary school, which is very fun and easy to sing along.
Danny, can you tell us a little bit about how you were involved in the arts from the, from the childhood? Oh yes, um, through school, when I first came from Puerto Rico, I was in an elementary public school, and uh, there was a choir, and I got involved, and afterwards in my school and at church, um, I got involved in the children's ministry, and uh, that really helped me out, but I always had a passion for music, and I can tell you for sure that music does change uh, your life. And it helps your kid um, express more and feel more free. And there's nothing more better for a cure than music. Danny also plays instruments. So not only does she sing, she also plays uh, instruments. What instrument do you play? Um, I play the ukulele. I know it's small, and some people think it's just a toy people, but for me, that's what I use to compose, and it really does help. Great, great. Um, by the way, we have um, listed the uh, Instagram channel for Jade. So if you want to find out a little bit more about her and her music, you can do so there. Okay? She's also on YouTube, and you can see her all over the place, and probably even more so in the future. But I have a very special question. Jade, is singing what you do for a living? No, I'm actually an engineer. Oh. Um, at Seminole State College and I'm currently pursuing my master's at UCF. Um, it's a tough track and especially when you do both music and engineering but they're both my passions and I've gotten the opportunity to even intern at NASA so um, wow. the past year and a half has been really fun and that's why I always you know encourage students to not only pursue music but STEM is also very important and using both sides of your brain is wonderful. Okay, I got a question. What does STEM stand for? Anybody? Raise your hand if you remember what it stands for. What does the S stand for? Science. Right? The T, what does the T stand for? Technology. Right? What does the E stand for? Engineering. All right? And Ms. Quinones. And what does the M stand for? Mathematics. Ooh, and we thought we didn't need that, but we do, okay? And mathematics, when we talk about mathematics, Ms. Um, I'm thinking of music. Why am I thinking of music when I think of mathematics? Oh, because the beats, when you read music, the beats are also mathematical. Exactly. Um, they break down into beats. You might have four beats in, in one beat, and mm -hmm. you have quarter notes, half notes. Wait a second, Ms. Quinones, I think I lost the kids. Did I lose you guys? Because uh, I don't hear you cheering about this. We do need to get excited about math. Math will get us to different places in life that we do not know. We can become a, a, an engineer, just like Ms. Quinones, and be working with NASA, just like Ms. Quinones. Or we can be a musician or a teacher, right? So that's why Ms. Quinones is such a great example about what we need to be doing from elementary school, okay? Ms. Quinones, would you like to give us any other final words? Oh yes, um, actually right now they have changed the word STEM to STEAM and they added the A for arts because art is also part of, you know, part of science, of technology, of engineering. An engineer, their work is a piece of art. It's like architects, they're, they're making art when they make a building. So the A in arts also stands for awesome. It includes music because there's also engineering portions of it involved. Right. So we want to follow that lead that Ms. Quinones has spoke, spoken about tonight. Queremos seguir esa, esa trayectoria que está eh, enseñando Ms. Quinones esta noche de que la matemática es importante, que la ciencia es importante y que todas las materias son importantes para poder lograr un futuro y poder ser la diferencia en nuestra sociedad como Miss Quinones. Let's be the difference, like Miss Quinones is being uh, in our community. Thank you again, Miss Quinones. We're gonna have one last one. Yes. Yes, so um, which of the two would you guys prefer? Dos Oruguitas from Encanto or Recuérdame from Coco? Coco! Coco! Okay, okay. We're gonna do Recuérdame from Coco. Thank you.
want to hear one more, maybe? Yeah. 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 Sí, qué bueno. Gracias. Ok, muy bien. ¿Qué cosa? One more. Oh, I'm so excited to hear you guys say yes. Um, ok, this next one is from Encanto. Uh, es dos orejitas. Uh, this is the song from the scene where kind of all the drama comes to a big explosion where the grandma hugs her granddaughter and expresses, you know, everything that happened in the past and the reason why she's been so tough on the family. Um, so I hope you enjoy it, and here we go.
Um, we plan on having lots of opportunities for you to come be on campus, be a part of the Lake Gym school community. Um, your students will be able to perform and to show off their talents and where they're passionate, what they're passionate about. So hopefully this is the first of many opportunities to come. And thank you again for supporting us. And again, thank you to Mr. Garcia and the faculty and staff that really made this an amazing night for our family.